since it's Joan at 10 Pentacles Tarot. And I'm finally back after about a week off with laryngitis. I want to thank my subscribers, Valentina, Marco, and Marisa for sending good thoughts and healing vibes my way. They really, really work. This is about the quickest I've ever gotten my voice back and gotten over it. So thank you to those people and thank you to whoever else sent good thoughts my way. I really, really appreciate it. I, total, I totally believe in um, energy healing. It's, it's worked for myself and more peop many people that I know. So I... I, I truly appreciate it. So today, folks, I'm going to <clears throat> review the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sephiroth. Um, this is published by Los Scarabeo. And um, this is what one side of the box looks like. The side. And it's a two-piece box. Oh, let's see if it has a price. Oh, yeah. It was 26 It's $26.95, and the U.S. is the publisher's price. So let's take a look. This is a beautiful deck. I love, love, love it. And I believe that Jack Sephiroth is the one who also illustrated um, the Runic Tarot, I want to say. Uh, I'll have to double check on that, but I think that's it. All right, so this is what the box looks like on the inside. <clears throat> and we will uh, do a, a reading at the end so that you can see how the book is written. But let's just take a look. So it's your uh, a little book, uh, of course, soft cover. <clears throat> oh, that's connected. And um, the text is by Jamie Elford, uh, but the concept and... It says, The Concept and Artwork by Jack Severoth, Instructions by Jamie Elford. All right, so, and this is a 2021 deck, so it's just a couple years old. Um, the book is written, we have instructions and meanings in English, Italian, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. So first we have an introduction to the tarot, and I, I was kind of really impressed by this. It says, um, there's a quote from the Bible, Joshua 1.9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So I thought that was a pretty interesting quote to put at the beginning of a tarot deck. And it says, The heaven and earth tarot brings forth the glory of the heavens in a way in which we can connect to it on a daily basis. This deck is for people who see the divine in the everyday. The connections between the mundane and the spiritual appear in every card on the deck of the deck. The artwork in this deck blends the images of the Waitsmith system with the deeper occult wisdom of a, of a Thoth deck. All right, so here we go. And then we have Unlocking the Meanings of the Heaven and Earth Tarot. And then for each card, there are, you know, a few paragraphs for each major arcana card. We have a description of the card, a keyword, the Hebrew letter that it is associated with, um, the correspondences, meaning um, the element and any kind of, any planets or astrological signs. Um, there's an upright meaning and a reversed meaning. And like I said, I'll do a quick one card reading at the end so you can see how the book is written. So it goes like that through the Major Arcana. And then we have each of the Minor Arcana has um, maybe a little bit less than the Major Arcana. We've got, again, a description of the card, a keyword, um, correspondences with elements and planets, an upright meaning and a reversed meaning. And then it goes on to the other languages. But before we get to that, there's also, after... Um, the meanings of the cards. There's an introduction to tarot um, using the cards and here's a spread where will you go and what what do you need and then there's a spread as above so below so very interesting and then we, we go on to the next language all right <clears throat> very good all right let's take a look at the cards <clears throat> first this is what the back looks like and they're glossy. They're glossy cards. This is the title card. Um, they are medium weight card. Um, they, it comes with a title card. And then here's a, for news and information, follow Los Cabrera on Instagram and Facebook. All right, so let's take a look at the cards. <clears throat> I love, uh, it's muted colors. They're just really classic 
beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, so we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that lion. Oh my goodness. It's lovely. Um, the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. The star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. All right, now we come to the suit of cups. We have the ace of cups, the two of cups, which is called love. So each of these has at the bottom, <clears throat> it has an element symbol, it has astrological symbols, and um, it has a title of the card. And the number is at the top. Um, the three of cups is abundance, four of cups, blended pleasure, that's different. Five of cups, loss of pleasure, Six of Cups, Pleasure. <coughs> Seven of Cups, Illusionary Success. Wow, these are kind of really intriguing. Um, eight of Cups, Abandoned Success. Huh, that's interesting. Nine of Cups, Material Happiness. Let me see if I can, there we go. Ten of Cups, Perfected success. Okay, then we have the Princess of Cups. There's no page. Oh, there's the princess. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. We go to the Suit of Pentacles. There's the Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is Harmonious Change. Three of Pentacles, Material Work. Four of Pentacles, Earthly Power. It's written in, I don't know if you can see it, it's um, cursive. And from the angle I'm looking at, it's a little tough to read. That's why I keep pausing. Okay, Five of Pentacles, Material Trouble. Six of Pentacles, Material Success. Seven of Pentacles, Success Unfulfilled. Eight of Pentacles, Prudence, Nine of Pentacles, Material Gain, Ten of Pentacles, Wealth, Princess of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. All right, and then you can tell these are <laughs> glossy. They're sliding all over the place. Um, okay, so then we have the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands is Dominion. Three of Wands, Established Strength. Four of Wands, Perfected Work. Five of Wands, Strife. Six of Wands, Victory. Seven of Wands, Valor. Eight of Wands, Swiftness. Nine of Wands, Great Strength. Ten of Wands, Oppression. Princess of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. And King of Wands. And now finally, the Suit of Swords. There's the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords, Peace. Three of Swords, Sorrow. 
Four of Swords, Rest from Strife, Five of Swords, Defeat, Six of Swords, earn, Earned Success, Seven of Swords, Unstable Effort, Eight of Swords, Shortened Force, Nine of Swords, Despair and Cruelty, Ten of Swords, Ar Ruin, oh my goodness, Princess of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. I don't know about you, but this deck is so, like, calming and relaxing to me. I don't know. It's just, I just love it. All right. I like all different types of artwork, and this is really nice for me. Okay, so let's see how it shuffles. Let's try our... Again, my short fingers don't lend themselves well to the riffle, but they do shuffle nicely. They don't stick together. Let's do, okay, so let's try this way. All right, let's do, um, let's do a one card reading and see how we do. So Spirit, what does our viewer need to, what does our viewer need to know or think about today? What does our viewer need to know or think about today? We don't need that many. What does our viewer need to know or think about today? My goodness. Let me see. Okay, those are not mixed. One more time. What does our viewer need to know or think about? There it is. Okay. All right, let me set it up here and see if we can get you a better view. While I read it, it is the eight. Oh, I mean, it is, no, I'm sorry. It's not eight anything. It's number 13, death. All right, that's always an intriguing card. So let's take a look. <clears throat> and it's all about transformation. It's not about anyone dying. So a lot of people get have a misunderstanding about that. Okay, so let's see. Number 13, death. It says, a massive white horse with a skeletal rider approaches a group of people. The horse's eyes glow orange and steam blows through its nostrils. Red reins connect the horse to its skeletal rider. The skeleton wears red-tinted armor. A silver cross appears on the chest plate. The face plate is up, displaying the grotesque form beneath. The skeleton holds a black banner with a rose on it. His scythe has been affixed to a holster on the horse. Four people are on the ground. Two towers can be seen off in the distance through the haze. The key word here is transformation, the Hebrew letter nun, meaning fish. The correspondences are Scorpio, Mars, and Pluto. Um, the upright meaning is transformation, rebirth, a spiritual end, let go, and evolution. And the reverse meaning is reluctance to change, obsessive thoughts, holding back, or being stuck in repetition. So this is all about transformation, and this is a major arcana card, so it looks like a major transformation is coming your way. Perhaps a rebirth of some sort, or an ending. Maybe there's something that you are needing to let go of that doesn't serve you anymore, and that will lead to your transformation. Um, it's, this card is telling you, let go. It's okay to let go. It's part of your evolution, and it's meant to be. All right, so I hope that was helpful, folks. That was my review of the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sephiroth, and um, the text is by Jamie Elford. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. Um, I want you to know, I, I want to thank you for being here, and I want you to know that I appreciate you more than you could ever understand I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.